Ben Throckmorton, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to work your golf ball from right to left. For you folks who tend to have a slice, who tend to miss it to the right, this is going to be heaven for you because what I'm going to show you today is an easy way to make your ball start right of the target and hook back to it. Okay, We want a little ball flight, nice little hot draw that's going to start right of your target and, and move from right to left. Now there's any number of applications for this when you're playing golf. Uh, you know, you, you got, uh, you know, with the driver in your hands, you got dog legs left, which make, if you can maneuver your golf ball a little bit, makes finding the fairway a lot easier, okay? A little draw off the tee is also a lot longer, they say, than a little fade, and I agree with that. Ball flight that's running right to left for most of us is going to hit the ground a little hotter. It's going to run a little further, so we're going to be a little longer off the tee, which is always a good thing. And of course, when those pins are tucked in the left-hand side of the green, much easier to start that ball in the middle of the green and try to work it toward it than it is to start it at the flag. Because if you start it directly at the flag and happen to pull it a little bit, now you're left of the green. So what I'm going to show you right now is a way that you can maneuver your golf ball from right to left. You can maneuver your ball out of trouble, maneuver your ball toward the pin. You can shape your shots, okay, which is going to save you some shots on the golf course. Okay, so what I'm going to show you right now is a little bit about the physics of ball flight before we get started and why the golf ball does what it does. All right, so if we can look down here, the, the direction that your ball starts, okay, the direction that your ball starts is determined by the direction the club head is moving at impact, okay? So if we look, if I stand here and I'm using parallel lines, if my club is moving inside the line, to across the line at impact, this direction, my ball is going to start right of the right of the target line. Okay? The curvature of your golf ball, once it gets in the air and gets started, is determined by the face angle at impact. Now, if my club head is moving across the line and the club head is square to the line it's traveling, my ball is going to fly straight to the right. Okay, so there again, if my club head is moving inside the line to across the line and my club head is square to that line, the ball is going to fly straight to the right, okay? If my club head is moving from inside the line to across the line and my club head is square to the target line, the ball is going to get up just right and it's going to turn back to the left. It's going to circle. You're going to get that nice draw shot. So here with your normal swing is how you can hook the ball okay without changing your grip without changing your setup nothing is different okay so all we're going to do it's a two-step process okay all we're going to do is we're going to step set up here and i'm going to set my club face if you can see that if you can get a shot of that my club face is pointed square down the target line okay so when i make contact I want my club face to make contact square to the target line. And you can see here's my target line, okay, there's my pointer. You want to set your club face square to the target line. Now, depending on how far you want the ball to turn from right to left, okay, now I've got to pick a line on which I want my ball to start. Okay, So we're going to set our club here, down the target line, which is where, which is where we want our ball to finish. Now I'm going to set up my hips. My, my hips, my feet, my shoulders, I'm going to set up slightly to the right, okay? So I'm across the target line, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swing the club back along the line of my feet, my hips, my shoulders. I'm going to make contact. The club's going to be square down the target line. My ball is going to start just to the right of the target and it's going to move back to the target, okay? So basically, in easy to understand terms, okay, you want to aim the club where you want the ball to finish, the flag stick, the fairway. You want to aim your club face where you want the ball to finish. You want to aim your shoulders, your hips, and your feet where you want the ball to start, okay? And now you want to swing along the line of your shoulders, hips, and feet and keep that club face square to the target line. It's going to look something like this. And you're going to get a really strong shot that starts just right of your target. Okay, club's moving this way at impact. Ball's going to start to the right. Club face is square to the line at impact. Ball's going to hook back to the target. So now we've showed you we can really turn it hard. 
we can, we can turn it, we can move the ball down the fairway, we can maneuver it around bushes, we can maneuver the ball into the green, we can work our golf ball with this simple, this simple two-step, you know, there's nothing to this, okay? All you got to do is you've got to aim your club face where you want the ball to finish, okay? Then we're going to aim our, our shoulders, hips, and feet along the line we want the ball to start on, which is to the right of the target. And all we're going to do is we're going to swing back and through. And we're going to get a ball that starts at the right edge of the green and gently draws right to where we want it to finish. Use these simple concepts. You're going to learn to work your golf ball. You're going to be a better player. Thank you.